Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. We've got uh, 20 plus on the call as it is. We're back for another webinar series of Real Estate Mastery, where today we're going to talk about Facebook going from zero to hero, whatever the hell that means. And as I mentioned pre-recording, this is a topic that can lead us down 10 million different rabbit holes. And we might very well go down one of those rabbit holes. So if you're live, if you're on this, if you're an attendee here, feel free to chime in. If you have questions, if there's something you want us to touch on, please let us know. Or if we don't get to it today, please let us know if there's a topic you want us to include in a future episode. We're always evolving and changing this. So without further ado, Mr. Ahumad, welcome, my friend. Thanks, buddy. It's another, it's another good week of this. I've always loved doing this with you, man. I agree. And you know what? You are the, I, I call, yeah, I call people the godfather of certain things. You're the godfather of Facebook. I don't care what anybody says. Um, Thanks, man. You're, you're like the, the one A to Mark Zuckerberg's one. I appreciate that. I'm sure Mark doesn't think so. but yeah. <laughs> Well, at least as it pertains to real estate anyway. How about that? Uh, that's true. All right. So let's get started. And like Jeff said, this was a little bit of a challenge for us to narrow it down what to speak on. So we thought, why not go into a little bit of, of how to brand yourself on Facebook and the power of Facebook business pages, along with some organic posts and a little bit on the paid posts. Cause we do hear a lot about paid posts and I think we're exposed to that a lot but a lot of us don't understand the power of what we can do through creating our own brand through the pages and then how to go deeper into that. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start off with a brand that I recently created. So uh, I recently created a brand and that was the I am Tristan. You, you've seen the I am Tristan Almada brand, right? And I'm tying that into a brilliant tribe, but that's the next step for now what i'm doing is i'm growing i am tristan and i thought well where where is it that i can go to to grow it faster and to grow it so that i can get more engagement and for me personally it was facebook and it was specifically face the facebook business pages and i thought i thought of doing it through instagram because I have the 35,000 followers on Instagram, but you know, last time I told you, I didn't do anything on Instagram for like a year almost, and that really screwed my Instagram account over. So knowing that, I'm like, you know what, let's just start from scratch on this business page. I wanted to share with you what I, what I went through so that you can kind of uh, do the same thing for your business page. Tell me when you can see that, buddy. We're good. All right, so here you have your, your, regular, your regular account. And what you want to do if you wanna create a brand new page is you wanna to go to create and you have the option here. Uh, they made it super easy, create a page. That's what you wanna do. And when you wanna create a page, you either have the option of doing a business or a brand or community or public figure. Now, here's where a lot of people decide to either go with a brand like Jeff, you have your mortgage company, right? Mm -hmm. That would be something right here that I would choose, right? The business, the actual mortgage company mm -hmm. versus Jeff Fitzer, the public figure, right? And so it just depends on what you want to do. Let's go, for instance, let's go with this one. And when you're able to do that, you want to name it. Um, let's name it. Let's just go through the process. Um, uh, let's go Fitzer Mania. Ooh, I like that, right? Um, let's see what options we have here. Okay, good. We know that Jeff, I'm just going to pretend I'm Jeff and I'm going to be thinking out loud third person type if I'm Jeff, all right? Mm -hmm. So we know that Jeff does amazing at video and he's only going to get better at it. So I'm thinking ahead of time here, if I'm a public figure, and I know that I'm going to be primarily pushing out a lot of video. I'm going to make a TV show out of this, at least as a category, right? And I'm a public figure. So if you go back to your brand, you can decide that you're in real estate. You can decide that you're in sales or whatever business you want. 
for this specific thing, I'm going to go with a TV show. And so I type in TV and you see the options that you have. You have show, channel, network, uh, movie awards, or season. And for this purpose, I would say it's a show, right? And I'm going to pause you right there so that I can tell you what you're going to see in the next year to two years with social media as a whole. We're seeing, we're seeing the numbers come in for Facebook and Instagram and uh, Snapchat, and the numbers are down. So the engagement is a lot lower they had than what they had anticipated. And that's because they've hit a peak and they're, hit, they're getting more challengers. So TikTok is only the beginning of what the next round of social media is gonna look like. We never, don't know never heard like. of it, never heard of TikTok. I know, man, it's, uh, it's just some, some ambiguous crap. Don't worry about it, it's from China, just forget it. <laughs> um, and so what I want you to start thinking of, and I needed to pause you this because I think it's really important. I need you to start creating content that's a little bit longer form. Uh, hold on, let me see who we have on. Do we have Anant on or no? Yeah, yeah, he's on. All right, perfect. So I saw his last video uh, where he tagged me. It was good, Anant, by the way. Good job on that. What I would start doing, if you want to take a look at Anant, uh, it's A-N-A-N-T. D-E-O-R-A-S. Uh, take a look at him on Facebook and see what he's doing. But he has the right idea where he's building out long form. And what you're going to start seeing people do is use that long form, very Gary Vee style, and break it down into, into these little excerpts. And that's 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and 60 seconds. And what you find is that Facebook, when you're marketing on Facebook on this, on your business page, they give you two options. Number one is they want a 15 second sizzle and the algorithm will love you for that. Or they want three minutes plus both have to be HD quality. The other thing is the 15 second sizzle is what TikTok is made of, mm -hmm. right? So they have a 15 second and then a 60 second, but what you want to do is this four, five, six minute community video that you're making or educational on how to purchase property or whatever you're doing, you're going to use that one piece of content to then blow it up everywhere else in small pieces. Uh, we have got a question here already. No, it's just I'm not ch chiming in. Oh, yeah. So uh, Anand says, thanks, buddy. Actually, I'm working on the cut up uh, content right now. Uh, I'm at 20 second teaser to my YouTube channel, my long form Facebook. Good buddy. Uh, keep on doing that. And what I would start doing as well is start really thinking of how to, how to use TikTok as well into this because we're early on. Like I was telling Jeff, we've only got about six months to eight months before it's, it's going to get super saturated and your chances of becoming an influencer there are going to be limited by a lot. So think of that when you're thinking of video, when you run one piece, how many can you make out of it? And that's important. So back to Fitzermania, we're going to create a TV show here and I'm gonna click on continue. And my internet's gonna be super slow. So then it takes a long time to get there. All right, so now it's gonna say, well, what the hell do you wanna do here? And there are some things that you're gonna to want to do here that help you stand out. Number one is you want to make sure that you have uh, your profile picture here. You want to make sure that it's something that, that people can relate with. And more importantly, adding a cover. I'm going, to do, I'm going to give you a little hack here because I learned it the hard way. Uh, hold on. I got a chat question. Uh, Jeff, offline question for Tristan. We have a potential referral for a team member or Irvine. In your... <laughs> ah, Jeffrey, thank you. I appreciate that. I do not cover Irvine but I can send you somebody who's amazing who does. And it he, depends on the price point. Um, he was, we'll, get, we'll get back to that one. Yeah, we'll get back to that one. Jeff, do you remember the guy's name? He's like a super luxury, amazing agent. He spoke at our event. Sturdivant. Yeah, yeah, Sturdivant. It was Sturdivant. All right. Uh, so here, here's a little quick hack because what I found is every time I was uploading a cover photo anywhere into Facebook's business pages, it would be a little bit grainy. Have you come across that, Jeff, or no? Which, which part? The, so uh... at the very top of your business page, 
when you here i'll go back to it right here on fitzermania mm -hmm. you see i add a cover photo and every time i would add one it'd be a little bit grainy well actually i have my i have a marketing department create my cover photos for me oh, so they know perfect. the image size to do it and i would i would encourage you guys to use like a fiber for this um because they can use the proper image size or you can do what tristan's about to show you yeah i'm about to show you a hack uh here on canva if you don't have canva get it it's super cheap uh, i want you to choose blog banner that's the one for this one don't choose the one that says facebook banner because the Why? even though the dimensions are correct when you download it and then upload it to facebook facebook depixelizes it and makes it grainy hmm. it's a hack so uh I just tested this out this morning again, and I'm like, good, it still works. So here, I'll give you an example. I'm gonna go here to, the, let's pick a nice one, uh, this one. So I'm gonna go here, and let me move your picture over to the left there. Um, good job. All right, so here, now instead of just going to download right here, because you're gonna download it and it's gonna put it on your desktop, I want you to crop this picture. And if you're on a Mac, uh, it's command shift four and then this little thing pops up see and mm -hmm. i can just grab it right there and then it's saved now what i do is i go back to my page right here and then i choose it from upload from my desktop and then now it's not going to be all grainy and everything which is to me it's going to be super nice And now I have it there. Uh, now uh, you can decide to do whatever you want on that one, but let me tell you that that works by far. Or not? Have you split test cover video? Uh, yes, I have. Um, we've definitely split tested. As I create each of my Chicago neighborhood videos, I'll be uploading versions of my Facebook page cover. Uh, yeah, what we've noticed is, uh, well, this is how we split tested it. So let's say you've built this out and let's say, Jeff, let me see if I have a picture of you here, buddy. Uh, upload picture. I don't think I have one of you. I'm scared. You know what? Let's uh, let's get one really quick. You, you know here. damn well you have a picture of me. It's probably your. Uh, it's probably the 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 what you call it uh, screen on your phone. I just made one of you. Don't worry. <laughs> I should have right, been smiling. So, yeah, I got you. Don't worry. So there you are. There's Jeff. We're gonna go to Fitzermania. And uh, now I'm going to add a video, a spotlight video. Now you're not able to add a video unless you upload it on here first. So I'd have to upload the video on here and then I can use it as a sizzle reel at the top. The max you're going to be able to have at the top, if I remember correctly, is almost a minute. So you can keep it going up here. So 60 seconds, 59 seconds. And the ones that have worked the best uh, it are videos that tell about uh, an area about what you're doing. The ones that do the worst are just you sitting there doing nothing. Um, they just don't don't do the greatest. And if you have if you have um, captioning, those do amazing as well. So let's say we worked on this, Jeff. Let's say yours looks super awesome, and and we're all great. I want to go in now and edit here. I want to add a description. A lot of people don't even add a description to their business page. I want to add a phone number so people can call me from here, my website, my email address, where I'm located. And if I'm a real, if I did a real estate page, you know, service area, and then when am I open? Right. And this right here, impress them. That's only if you're in Europe. So if you have anybody in Europe, uh, you worry about that. Um, other than that, you don't worry about it. Then what do you here, recommend? What do you recommend for hours? Uh, you touched on that because as a realtor, obviously you're typically accessible 24 seven. Yeah. But, I always go always open because I have a, I have a little messenger here. So you go to messaging. Yeah. You, you go to messaging and then you can turn on use the return key to send message, start a messenger conversation with a greeting. See, hi, Hi, Tristan Omada. Thanks for getting in touch with us on Messenger. Please send us a, a, any questions. You can change it up from here so that you have anything, right? That's cool. And then you can also have a little link. So you can use it off of Facebook so people can message you directly onto Messenger, which is super cool, right? And onto your website as well. Uh, now, during Messenger conversation, you can set up automated responses from here. So Facebook is really working on their automation. 
and here's where you go and you figure all that out. It's important to be able to work on this. Look, this already has your little picture on it. <laughs> I love it. Look, Fitzermania. <laughs> so good, dude. So good. Um, You're going to manage this page for me, right? I am, dude. I want to manage it. Right, so uh, that's, that's here on Messenger. You can, you can really do a lot of damage here because if you are going to be promoting it like I'm going to show you, you're going to be able to get a lot more people coming back um, and talking to you. So let's go back. We're on Messenger. Templates and tabs, that, that really, you can add more tabs on the side. You don't really need to add any more. The video page is fine. Event ticketing doesn't apply to us because there's nothing that we're going to be really selling here. But if you were going to have an event, you could connect it to Eventbrite. Uh, post attribution. Some people um, like to use this. Like if, since I created Fitzermania, um, and let's say I work for you, Fit, uh, um, Jeff, I was going to call you Fitzer. Okay. Jeff, uh, you can have me, uh, you can have say, you can say, okay, well, Tristan, you're going to also run my page. And every time you post, it's going to show that Tristan posted versus just Fitzermania, right? It'll say who's posting. So it'll say uh, in response. So like on lab code agents, when you go to ours, we've set it so that if it's Nick posting at the very bottom in little letters, it says Nick. And if it's me, it says Tristan, right? Uh, that's, that's how post attribution works. Notifications, uh, what I like to do is I leave them all on. You see they're all on right now. And it's important. This one you can turn off unless you love getting a shit ton of emails. And I don't. This is every time somebody comments or posts or anything like that. Uh, I don't, I like to leave all of these on except for this. Advanced messaging, that's where you wanna go into a, a little bit of a deeper, uh, deeper process for messaging. You can have people subscribe to your, your business page. I love this, the requested feature. This allows your page to send non-promotional content on a recurring basis through Messenger. That's really important, especially when we have over a billion people using Messenger. If you want to deliver a newsletter, if you want to deliver any message that's more of a routine, we combine this section with a company called ManyChat. And I think I have ManyChat open. Let me see. No, nope, I don't. Uh, but you can check out ManyChat. It's a pretty cool thing. Page roles is easy. It goes a little bit back to the attribution thing. You can assign roles to anybody. Let's say um, I'm going to add Jeff to his own page here and I'm going to make him an admin. I would just add him right there. People in other pages here. Uh, here's what you see with people pages. Uh, 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 you don't need that one. Preferred page audience. Don't need that one either. Authorizations. This is for this is for giving, uh, because we had a whole problem, you know, we, we kind of, Facebook kind of helped with electing Donald Trump and they might also help him win again, which is good or bad, depending on what side of the fence you're on. Uh, but they added that specifically for indicating who is authorizing these ads and where they're coming from. Uh, they're doing a better job on being able to locate that, but it's still a, a while a ways to go. Uh, this way they can identify fake news or not better. This is kind of cool. So if you collaborate with other brands, so Jeff, if you collaborate, let's say with lab code agents mm -hmm. and um, you want to say, well, you know what? Every time I do this, I'm going to be, I'm going to allow lab codes to be able to post it up automatically into these pages. Um, and that's, these are all our partnerships and you can create those uh, pretty easily right here. And so let me, let me ask you something on that. Cause that's something I don't know that a lot of people know about. Um, if you're an agent and you're creating this page, uh, which, you know, it's obviously your brand page, mm -hmm. what would be a recommended type of site that you, I mean, cause I, I correct me if I'm wrong, but that would probably be a good idea. Um, it, it's a great idea. If let's say you are, you're teaming up with a whole bunch of other real estate agents across the nation. And you're like, well, you know what, every time I get a listing and, um, uh, it's in it like a luxury listing. And is it okay if I, if I also post to yours, you're going to allow me to be able to post directly without having to get an approval. And this is for two reasons. One is people were spamming other business pages, right? And that wasn't a positive thing. And then the other one is, well, if I, if I'm your buddy and I want to help you grow, I'm definitely going to help you in that sense. Right. That's how, that's how I've seen people use it. It's a newer thing. 
Uh, then we go to Instagram. You definitely want to connect your Instagram right here. Like if you go to, let me see if I can go to mine really quick so you can see how I've done it. Because this is a very important piece. Uh, 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 right. And, and by the way, and we talked about this last week, if you're going to be connecting your Instagram page to Facebook, it's got to be a professional page, not a personal on Instagram. Correct. Uh, here we go. All right. So I'm going to shift over to mine so you can see I just started this very recently. And you can see me. It's a talking head at the top. But it's a minute video. And you can see if you scroll down this one right here. I've reached 95,000 people on it. It's been shared or 99,000 views. It's been shared 65 times. Um, and so I'm, this is, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build a brand here off of this. I have a TV channel just like I did for, for Jeff. Now, if I want to uh, edit the info, I'm going to show you here. I've also connected it to my Instagram page on the back end on Instagram and you see it's connected to my I am Tristan over at uh, Instagram and when you do that two things happen one is people can follow you on either or they can message you it goes to this messenger as well more importantly it's connected to your account for when you go in and you boost it or you use ads manager uh, it, it's able to do that a lot easier um, on the featured uh, uh, Let's see this one. I, I didn't, uh, you, if you liked any other pages as I am Tristan, by liking other pages and featuring them. Oh, looks like you can feature other pages that you could like. That's interesting. I didn't see that one before. So let's say Jeff loves I am Tristan. He's going to feature that at the very top and say, hey, look, for this week, I'm featuring this page, which is pretty cool. This again is for cross posting. If you want to, when you post one thing, you can auto post to another one. That's no, no problem at all. Uh, page support inbox, you won't be using that. Appointment settings, some people I've, see, I've seen use this because on the business page, it works as a calendar. You can actually set up appointments through here. So if you're going to have people sign up for a class that you're going to teach, um, a first-time homebuyer seminar, you can set it up here so that you can have people show up on certain times if you're going to go one-on-one. -on -one or if you have something that you want an online booking for. I don't see this really applying to us unless you're a coach in our industry, uh, but it's there for that page management history. This is anything you've ever changed uh, that, that is of any subsequent importance. And it's really not unless you just want to keep track of everything. So now I want to go and take you to the page itself to show you exactly how to, how to grow it because that's, that's really where you want to be uh, in growth mode right now with this, especially as I think Facebook's hit, they've hit a point where they're not going to grow as fast anymore. So, but I mean, 2 billion people, it's nothing that you have to worry about. That's a ton of people uh, here. This is what we've noticed over. I'm going to scroll down to the, towards the bottom. So you can see how Facebook recently changed. So if you go to this page is also super slow. A while ago, maybe like eight months ago, Facebook really favored these, these uh, posts with, with writing on them. Like, uh, I'll give you an example. One that was really good for us. All right, perfect, this one. Life isn't about finding yourself, life is about creating yourself. So you look back in June, this is not even a year ago, six months ago. This one got 2.6, so 2,600 likes and 450, 465 shares. Now what's happened over the last few months is that Facebook and Instagram both shifted away from this and stopped rewarding pictures. This is considered a picture, picture that have a lot of writing on it. They're favoring pictures that have actual people in them over writing. So what happened is now these quotes that were doing really well for us, now they're not. So what we did is we said, well, why don't we just test it out and see if um, maybe we can just write some shit and stuff will happen. So we did. So instead of writing the whole, the, the, the whole picture out into, a, into like a meme type thing, we just put words in it. And this is one I just did, what is that, 10 days ago? 
repeat after me, I'm about to walk into the greatest year of my life. And so we have a thousand, a thousand likes, 66 shares and 44 comments. And from that, more important to me, I had about uh, 400 followers just from that post. And this is where you want to go to grow your presence. So Anant and everybody else who's doing this on the business page, you're missing a huge opportunity if you don't go into this section right here. I'm going to click it. This little section that says 1,000 likes, what happens is this pops up, a new window. And if you scroll down, you can then invite every single person that liked this page to like it. Mm -hmm. See, I'm, I missed a few because I haven't done this in a day. So you see this one now, I'm inviting her. I go down, I'm inviting these people. Gosh, I really hope my name doesn't pop up on that list. <laughs> you already like my page. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna go down and invite, if you've got 30 people that liked it, great. If you've got 40 people that liked it, awesome. If you've got one, uh, just invite everybody that's on here. And chances are, if you do this on a daily basis, you're going to get more and more people uh, liking your page, which is what you want to do. Any now, is, this, on is this considered a, a branding page or a business page? Because isn't there a difference between the two? Yeah, this one's, um, this one's a... Um, this one's an influencer page. So this would be a personal brand. Got it. And which, which, is, that, some, which is something that's fairly newish. Um, yeah, I it's think newish. People, people have been using business pages for a long time and now it's kind of shifting to this. Yeah. And if you see it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really make that big of a difference. There's just some added features of your business. So instead of focusing on the actual person and the page, it focuses on the business aspect of it. So you get a lot of other business features like we have a Tristan and Associates page that we just rebooted as well. And we're working along the same uh, ways. Now, here you're going to find a little uh, cog. You're going to click on it and I can ban this person. So I can ban Peyton from this page. <laughs> Do this it. is a total dick. So Do I'm it. joking. Peyton's awesome. Uh, but I could ban him right here. I could ban anybody else that I want. Now, once I close it, let's say I posted uh, something new and I try to post here almost every day now that I'm growing it. Uh, this one, I just, I just, uh, started the boost at night, uh, and I just got approved this morning. So before I got approved, I had 31 likes, eight comments, one share. And what I can do is I can boost, boost it again. I usually put $10 behind this for five days. So not a lot. If you want to put a little bit more, um, for people that are running videos, I put a little bit more behind it this video at the very top, what the one that's, uh, the one that's got 99,000 views here. I put a hundred dollars behind this one and I targeted it well. So uh, that helps a lot. What you want to do. Ask, let me ask you a question, Tristan. So again, I, I think the audience can kind of see where we're going with this. Now, this isn't about running ads to boost properties. Like there's so many different ways you can go with Facebook. This is about, this is about boosting your brand. So, Correct. When somebody, which first of all, I don't know how many people actually have these pages, but let's just assume a lot don't. And even if you do, if you go, if you go to create a branding page, when you're putting that $10 into an ad to boost it, um, to target it, what is your recommendation on who they're targeting? Because now you're not geofencing so, an area to sell a house now. Yeah, right? No, no. Um, well, you, what you want to do is remember this here. I'm going to stop sharing so we can talk about this. What you want to remember when you're creating a brand is that it's not going to immediately pay off, right? This is, this is where you're creating something that's going to be bigger, right? You have a different mindset for this. It's not something that you post up there and you're expecting two, three, a hundred leads, however many. It's different. When you're creating a brand, you're creating more awareness of who you are so that it creates more opportunities when people remember you or see you in person. So what we've done with both Tristan and Associates and Lab Code Agents is we created this brand, brand awareness through, through social media so that when people see us, there's, there's a connection because they've seen us so much. So to answer that question, Jeff, when I'm posting to Facebook as an agent, 
I'm going to be targeting a specific little area. You know, we have now 15, a 15 mile radius, right? So I would pick, if I'm in Malibu, I would pick Malibu, right? If that's my 15 miles, but it probably includes Westlake Village and Pacific Palisades. And so what I would do is I would just keep it to that area. Now, the, the cool thing is, if you're in a metropolitan area, that's, that could be a million people, right? If you're in a smaller town, um, medium to small town, it could be 100,000. That's still good. Facebook would tell you, it a little, it's a little meter. It says, yeah, that's enough people. Or, hey, you're missing people, right? That's not enough. Or it'll tell you the opposite. Whoa, that's too many. Narrow it down. And the thing is, Facebook's algorithms got so, so, so good uh, over the last few months that now you can just choose a city. That's it. And as people start engaging with it, the algorithm then hits on, okay, here's your video. Now, Jeff liked it. Peyton liked it. Ooh, we got a few likes here. Now let's find more people exactly like Jeff and Peyton, right? And then it starts finding them everywhere around there. Lookalikes. Yeah, that's all it does. And it does it by itself. So people that, people that think you have to narrow it down through choosing the right targeting, uh, what we've noticed over the last few months is that the, that's the opposite of what Facebook is working on. Because Facebook, Facebook wants to make more money and they want the posts that you make especially if you're going to boost them or use ads manager, they want you to be rewarded more so that you can come back. Right. And part of that comes with their algorithm. They're just fixing it and making it better. So uh, any questions on that? I don't have any questions, but well, well, we'll wait for people to come through. But what I want to point out to everyone too is, is and you mentioned this Tristan is you're posting every day. And so I know this is not exactly a rocket science comment, but some of you may or may have not heard this, but this is Facebook 101 anymore. This is social media 101 anymore. If you're not posting every single day, um, you're just, you're doing yourself a disservice. I mean, that is the game. The game is to be seen more often. And you, Tristan, you and I, obviously you can, and, and I can to a lesser extent, uh, speak to what the power of visibility and omnipresence is to our business and what it can be to all 29 or 30 of you who are on this call and anybody watching the recording the power of utilizing social media in your business and Facebook specifically is, is ginormous. It is, especially with what you're able to do. You, your goal as a real estate agent should be to become what we call a niche celebrity, right? And that's to become somebody that when you walk into your local grocery store, store people recognize you. And besides recognizing you, they like you right? You make them feel good because they keep on seeing you on social media. And if you're making community videos and you're breaking them down and posting them on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, even Snapchat, and of course, YouTube, and putting a little bit of money behind it, that's when you start creating a bigger presence for yourself. And look, I'm only putting, you saw here, you know, let me share it back. I, I only put 10 bucks behind this. It's not a lot, right? It's not a lot. And it, you see this one, this one just got approved, but I have 31 likes. It's going to end up probably with a hundred likes and that's okay. Cause I'm not, I just started this. Look, I have, I have uh, 2000 followers on this. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot in comparison to what we, what other things we've created. So as I'm growing this, I know that I have to first, number one, post routinely, mix it up between video and this, static content that's not moving just remember don't post these these um these pictures with words because it's not going to work the same anymore on instagram and on facebook uh that just went away so now I want although take... although on instagram by the way you can't post just words you have to change you have to put your words into a picture or snap the it. picture in order to post it on instagram and they prefer that you post pictures now They've, um, what happens is a lot. The, so here's one other thing on Instagram since we're talking. I don't, I don't want to digress that. too much on Instagram. Yeah, but they, they started removing the likes on Instagram. So you're not able to see how many likes you're getting. They now, they now are focusing more on just the content and they're rewarding more 
uh, of the actual static pictures. So let's say I took a picture of you and me, I posted it. They're rewarding that over video views, which is uh, cool because they want, if you're going to do a video, they want you to use stories more. Mm -hmm. And that's oh, where- Or IGTV. Yeah. It, or IGTV. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Again, not to digress, but but because because Facebook is the topic today. And and I think, and let me give you an example. And I, I just had a, a call yesterday uh, from Aaron Kiwi from Wailopo. And I'm a lender, by the way, guys, if, if you don't know this. And he called me because they're about ready to roll out. And Tristan, you know this, the, the static videos, the, the video ads, which is a part of Wailopo. And this is not a plug for Wailopo by any means. But my point is, is he called me or he scheduled a call with me to say, you are an influencer. I see you everywhere. I need you behind this. I want you to be an ambassador for this product. And the, 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 how I'm, my point is, is I've done that because I'm consistently all over social media and I'm consistently putting out content and I'm consistently putting out video, which put me in the realm of video influencer by bomb bomb, right? And if you do the same thing, it's all relative. Like I get it. You're not after the same target as I am, but you're after a micro community. Tristan used this word micro influencers. That is like the word in 2020. What that means to me is in your community realtor, whatever that community is, it's not going to be all of Los Angeles or all of St. Louis. It's going to be a community within a city. You want to become a micro influencer. You want to become that you, I, I know this word's overused, but that is the word of the future. You want to be an influencer. And the only way that I know of to become an influencer in today's world is through social media. And to become an influencer means you create opportunity, which means you create a ton more business, which is why I'm getting phone calls from companies like Wailopo, who's based in LA. I'm here in St. Louis saying, we want you behind our product, which creates opportunity for me. Does that make sense? Yeah, man, that's, that's very true. I, I think we, we forget as real estate agents that we're in a marketing world, right? And we do wear a lot of hats, right? Our, our number one thing to do is obviously uh, create business opportunities for ourselves that ends up closing and, and we get paid on. But before that, if you're thinking of playing a super long game, you know, if you're going to be in business for a while and this is your career, then at some point you've got to look into what that looks like for you online and how you're using Facebook matters, both on a business level, like the business page, like I was showing you and on a personal level. And that's what I wanted to show you next here. Cause we've got 20 minutes here. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So here you go. This is my, this is my personal, this is my personal page. And so here on the personal page, you don't get as much, um, you, you don't get as much traction as you do because it doesn't really benefit Facebook as much if they don't pepper in in between to those sponsored ads, right? So here, just make sure that you put your phone number somewhere. The worst thing is when people are looking you up on Facebook and they don't have a phone number, like how do I get a hold of you? If you don't put it up here, put it over here somewhere in the intro section when you're editing the bio and let people know what you do. What is, what is your response to somebody who says, I don't want people to have my phone number? If you don't want people to have your phone number, then you're missing opportunities. Um, and like I said before, we're in the business of creating more opportunities for us that end up making money at the mm -hmm. end, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what it comes down to. And the fastest way to get a hold of anybody right now is through text. And so here you have a limit of 5,000 friends. You don't have a limit on your business page, right? That's what I love about it. And here you see followed, you, people can also follow you. And yeah, I have my websites up here as well. So you can also put them on there. And then what I do here is I post, I probably post almost every day on my personal page. And some things click with people, some things don't, like nobody liked this one. Uh, but it was kind of a sad post anyway. So don't worry about it. Uh, but people like, Post with family, right? Not bad. I got 155 likes. And then uh, this, this one. Is, this is your personal page now. Yeah, this is my personal page. Yep. So I'm showing, I always tell people, you want to show people who you are, right? And what you think of. And then slowly you're going to start getting people that can associate those same feelings and relate to you, right? So people always like pictures of you, you and your family, what you're eating, uh, and then look, I got a real estate post. I'm just reminding people that I do real estate, but look, 
Phil McGraw, uh, uh, that guy, Dr. Phil, he, his son selling his home, but it's all weirded out. Right. And so I thought it was kind of cool. Hmm. Uh, people were freaking out and then they shared it eight times, right? You're creating content that other people can share as well. Which by the way, helps your algorithm when you get shares, Facebook likes that. Exactly. They love it. And then another one, uh, people didn't like this one as much, uh, but that's okay. And then I have other quotes and more quotes. And then uh, Aaron, Bro I bumped into Aaron Brockovich <laughs> at Bed Bath & Beyond. That's hilarious. And then we talked. Um, she, by the way, she loves lab coat agents, right? So that's mm -hmm. good. Then me playing with the kids, Titanic. And uh, you know what? We keep going. And then again, real estate. No, I didn't represent them. Uh, Aaron Rodgers bought a home in Denica. No Pat shit. Nice. Bought, bought a home in Malibu. They didn't use me, but yeah, I, for, I forgive them. You're, uh, not, you're not rooting for the Packers now is what you're saying. Not anymore. <laughs> and then a little bit of holiday fun. You see, it's just a, a mix of everything. And that's what you want to do. Sometimes you're going to have people love it. Sometimes you're, you're not, people aren't going to care. But it's don't, all and, about and don't be and don't be turned off by that. Like don't get discouraged because you get minimal engagement. That's that's the thing that the best influencers, the people that earn influencer status, overcame. Like Gary Vee says this all the time. It starts with one like, and that that might yeah. be all you get um, for a long time. But eventually it, it it kicks up and it becomes more consistent. And even then, look at look at what Tristan's sharing with you. He still puts out quote unquote sucky posts. They're not necessarily sucky. They just didn't get the engagement that some other posts get. Uh, it's just yeah. the name of the game. Just ignore it, ignore the noise and just be consistent. Yeah, I think the consistency is the imp most important part. You're gonna have people that like what you do and other people that don't and that's okay. But you know what? what's the coolest thing about this? I'm gonna go back to, show, uh, to talking to you really quick. Is that people are going to scroll over what they see on Facebook, what they see you doing, they're not going to comment. They're not going to like. Ghost and followers. Then, and then when they see you in person, they're going to be like, dude, you've been working out every single day. Oh, my gosh. And I go back and I'm like, you've never commented on anything. Is, but you're watching. But they're paying attention. Yep. And that, that is the important part. I agree. Because I, agree. I, don't, I don't have any numbers, uh, but... I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be at at least one out of every 10 or higher people that watch and look at your post only comment or like the rest of the nine don't say a single thing, but they're watching and they're paying attention. And that's what matters. And by the way, that's a good, another good point. It's important for you as you're trying to grow your audience and grow your engagement to engage others. Because the more you engage, A, if you're engaging influencers, you want influencers engaging you back because it obviously will help your visibility. Um, but B, you have to be a giver before you can become a receiver. That's right, man. And then uh, to start commenting, that was my next thing. You go to the little F there. And then that's, that's, your, um, that's where everybody else's is feed comes through like there's a uh, Sherilyn Voss. So, uh, well, like, let me, let me ask you another question because you were showing your personal page and I know for mine and this may or may not be relevant to people, but if, if like when people tag me, all that stuff shows up on my feed, do you yeah. have a setting that does not have that stuff showing your feed? I do, man. And that's, can you see my screen still? Uh -huh. Yep. All right. So you would just go to edit your, your privacy settings and I don't, I don't allow people to, to post into my, into my feed without, without actually uh, allowing it to go in because uh, I was getting, so. Because, you, <laughs> because a, somebody like you gets tagged in 10 million things. But that's not where it start, started. Um, if you remember a few years back in 2016, when we were, when we had like a million people read that one article. Mm -hmm. about the bus mm -hmm. well i got tagged over it must have been I, it was close to a thousand times and every time anybody would tag me it would pop up on my facebook feed so uh, my wife said hey i just changed the settings on your facebook so that you can just approve and i'm like oh i didn't even know that was a feature yeah so uh yeah do that because you never know what people are tagging you in either so a lot of it's, and, and I guess, I guess the point is like, if you went to my personal Facebook page, it's going to look a lot more 
deluded with stuff because I'm getting tagged in multiple things every single day. And I didn't necessarily put it there, although I'm okay with it. Um, but a lot of times when people tag you, it's just because they want you to see it. I, I don't mean for it to show up on my yeah. feed. I just want to see, like Anant, he tags us because he wants us to see it. He wants our feedback. He's not yeah, tagging you know us what? for it to show up on our feeds. That's true. I, I actually look, when you tag me, I do look at most of those things. That's the point. And I, and, I, and so, so look here, I go here and, um, you know, I've been tagged a whole bunch of times. So I can just go to it. Like Marcus tagged me on a, on a uh, webinar. A live, yeah. And then um, I just go there and I like it or I comment. I do see it, but I don't. I don't let it into my feed because I don't want to spam people that are looking into my feed. Nope. And that's important. You want, to keep, you want to make sure that your feed is clean, that it's only delivering the things that you want to deliver to your audience, right? Now, people always ask, well, what the hell do I, what is it that, do, that I need to do? How often should I be posting? We get that question a lot. So uh, I actually, I know I gave this before, Jeff, but that's when we were first starting. So let me open up this thing so we can go over this really quick. Tell me when you can see my screen. Yes. All right. So I created this for, for the event that we had in Las Vegas a few months back. It was Social Storm. And we dove, we dove super deep into Facebook and Instagram. And here, here I created this so that you have a lot more clarity into what it is that you need to be doing on a daily basis now for all, well, I know it says Facebook and Instagram, but you can really use this for everything. And so this, I broke it down to Sunday month to, to weekdays. So you don't have to think what I found is that, and tell me, tell me what you think of this, Jeff, because you, um, you, you ran for that like whole year, right? Mm -hmm. What was that? 2018 and 2018. Yeah. Yep. But you knew exactly what you needed to do. Yeah. Right? So it wasn't like you had to think about it. Like uh, Steve Jobs, you always wore a black shirt and jeans. Same thing with Zuckerberg, right? Um, there's, there's something, it's called a decision fatigue. It's real, right? Decision fatigue happens when you, you take up, your, your whole day is taken up with these little tiny decisions that you have to make every time. Like, what am I going to eat? What am I going to wear? Uh, what was I going to do? What, what, what do I do now? It's 12. And what happens is it, it kind of fatigues you throughout the whole day. And when it's time to make these important decisions, you suck at them. Mm -hmm. And so in order to make these decisions, uh, when it comes down to the most important ones, better decisions, everything else around you in your life, you need to already have a plan for. And so this is what I'm doing for you. So you don't get decision fatigue when it comes to social media. You just look at this and you know what to do. So for example, on Sunday, it's going to be teach how housing prices are determined. So I'm just going to go up there and do a quick three to five minute video explaining to the audience, hey guys, I'm not sure if you're aware, but the way that home prices are determined usually is by grabbing a few homes in an area and looking at the ones that have sold over the last six months and then kind of finding the average, right? So you talk about that. Next, you sell. We're really good at this as agents, by the way. Uh, we're selling all the time. Hey, check out my open house. Hey, check out my new listing. Hey, look what I sold. That's not an issue, right? So selling is going to be easy. We just listed this home. Here's my favorite feature and then go into it. Next, you. Uh, this is where I wish we would do a little bit more of. You see a lot of people that post on Facebook that do a great job of this. Uh, Tara Carter comes to mind, Jeff. Do you know mm -hmm. Tara? I do. All right. So she does a really good job showing people herself, like what she's doing, right? Mm -hmm. Where she's at, what she's enjoying, what she's eating, her cats and so forth. So this is why people follow you. They're following you for you. So if you're at a place eating, show them. If you're at a place doing whatever, show them. Um, just don't keep it to yourself. People want to know. And then- uh, which, the, which, by the way, you mentioned, Tara. Can I ask you something? Did you notice recently on her story? Uh, so Tara is a uh, agent down in Fort, Fort Lauderdale and in Florida. And she has been sharing her stories for an entire month. So like she's sharing May of 2019's 
all of her stories in one day. And it's just like a freaking onslaught of stories. And I find myself clicking through the damn thing. I'm like, what am I doing? Um, but obviously she's onto something. Have you seen anybody executing on that strategy, sharing like their entire month's stories no, on one I, day? I hadn't, I hadn't really seen that, dude. That's actually super cool. Very interesting. I like that, man. That's a very good idea. And Sorry. that's uh, somebody to follow as well. That's a, that's a solid idea. I love it. Tara's good. You'll, you'll know it's Tara because she, uh, her brand is the Pink Flamingo. <laughs> that's right. She's got a good brand. Yep. I love it, dude. I'm just putting up a, a little story here on Instagram. Tristan is posting right now, which all of you, by the way, uh, I get this question a lot. People ask me, I'm boring. I don't know what to post about. How the hell am I going to post every day? Uh, but you don't realize that you just have to, you have to let the creative juices flow a little bit and realize that you have something to post about all the time. Like this, for example, you could be sitting at your computer, snap a photo, put it on your story saying, I'm getting my learn on. I'm learning about, you know, Facebook and how to, how to, how to improve my brand. Um, there's something for everything. And, and if you, and if you use your story, which by the way, your stories, same with IG, same on Facebook, vomit, vomit, vomit. You can, you can post away. You can post as many times as you want in your story because it goes away in 24 hours. It's not invasive. You're not annoying anyone over post. Yeah, definitely, definitely over post and just pay attention to the people that are commenting and and the people that aren't because at the same time if you've been doing this for a year and you're not getting engagement that means you're spamming people right and you don't want to spam people because you'll push them away you definitely don't want to do that uh, and jeff we know a few people that spam the crap out of everybody yep uh, you don't want to be that person uh let's let's go through the last one here it's advice and so that's for teach, sell you and advice. You see how I have quote about life or you go to another advice for fast forward for, for more, uh, take the time to thank someone on social media. Um, again, quote about leadership or advice. Here's something I've learned over the years. I want to share with you. The advice one changes a little bit, but it's always giving some type of advice. Uh, but this is a routine. It, it, it's a, it's a circle. Teach, sell, you, advice. Teach, sell, you, advice. And it goes on like that. Now, is and this so something that re reoccurs every single month, this content calendar? Because by the way, folks, um, if, you subs if you are uh, on this call or if you registered, you're going to get a copy of all of this stuff. So, Yeah, this is, uh, this is what I would definitely start with for the first month. And as you start going and doing this more routinely, you're going to get a better, better idea as to what you should be doing based on those responses, Jeff. So let's say, Jeff, you say, hey, dude, the thank you one, that advice on the thank you and tag a whole bunch of people, that one is so amazing, right? I want to do that every month. But if you do one that only gets like two likes and you're like, well, well let me see, I'll try it one more time and see how it goes. But if it sucks, take that off, right? Yeah. So that's, uh, that's really what it's about. I want, I want clarity for you because the more clarity you have, uh, the more the ability to be more consistent and actually achieve things will be better. It comes down to what shirt and pants are you going to wear, dude? Uh, usually a t-shirt and a ball cap and a different color pants every day. It's easy. You don't want to get decision fatigue. Think of that for social media as well. I agree. I agree. All right, All right. brother. Uh, any questions? If anybody has any questions, um, and, and while you're, you're adding questions, um, let's quickly mention that we are back again next week. Uh, so we're back on the 15th uh, on, on Wednesday, same time, same place. And the topic next week is going to be a fun one. I don't even know what it is. So um, let me give you a hint. What is it? Can you see my screen? It says Jeff Fitzer has started screen sharing. That's it. Okay. All right. And is there a... Uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, we're on TikTok. Got there it, it uh, is. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, next week we are going to talk about TikTok. And we're I think we're going to... talk about TikTok. We are. We're going we're gonna to go a little bit deeper. We're going to tell you a little bit about it. We're probably going to share some ideas. We're going to show you what you could be using it for. But I think more than anything, in my opinion, it's more of a mindset. 
And TikTok is just the now. That's right now. But six months from now, 12 months from now, there's got to be another TikTok. And if you start, you need to start shifting your mindset to knowing what you need to be spending time in and why and how. And that's what we're going to talk about next week on TikTok. I love it, dude. I, I better get my TikTok game on. Yes, actually, my daughter and I, uh, by the way, if you have teenagers, they are your secret weapons. Use them. Uh, one of my daughters and I are going to go out this weekend and we're going to record some more TikToks for real estate specific, uh, just so we can share more ideas on how you could be using TikTok. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Uh, the, the, the app itself is sucks you right in. It's a lot of fun and I look forward to sharing. Um, a reminder, if you're on this call, if you've registered, you're going to get a copy of this. If you're on our email list, we will never spam you. We're just going to be sharing this with you. I'll spam you. I will not spam you. He doesn't have the list. I have it. Um, and he's kidding, of course. Um, if, unless you want to be spammed with a bunch of contribution, because I'm on Tristan's list, by the way, <laughs> and it's really good. Um, we will continue to share. If you have any feedback, we got hardly any today, so and that's okay. But if you have any, please share. Fire, respond to me on email. I, that's my email. I'm replying to that. So please do share. We want it. And uh, hopefully this was helpful. And you know what? I think we should integrate a Facebook topic in like every other month because we can dive deep on specific topics. That's a great idea, dude. Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. Especially going in, especially in 2020. I think it's very important. So yeah. All right. Let's do that. And you Good know what? Stuff. Uh, that just reminded me. Yeah. I uh, Maybe we should even throw in uh, Snapchat. Hold on. Snap. We don't have Snap in the rotation. Actually, so coming up uh, is TikTok. And then after TikTok, uh, the first uh, um, topic in February is going to be YouTube. And YouTube is, uh, honestly, I keep saying Instagram is the most important. Facebook's the most important. TikTok's the most important. I'm telling you, YouTube is one of the most important. So um, you need to be in these places. Oh, LinkedIn. We're going to be getting into LinkedIn, too. You know what, dude? My head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. And we're not going to talk about Twitter. Um, because there's What's Twitter, I, I won't even get into it. Um, and snap is a whole nother beast. I, here's my opinion on snap since it's not a topic and anybody who's still on Snapchat is, um, the, the reason why you should pay attention to things like snap is because Mark Zuckerberg is paying attention to snap. And so it's not that you need to have snap or not. You're not going to integrate it in your business, but if Mark Zuckerberg's copying snap, like he is, you need to be taking using those pieces. Cause that clearly tells you that that's what Zuckerberg wants you using and it will help your algorithm. So well, stories that's a really is a good point, example. dude. Stories and also uh, deep fake is coming out. So deep fakes where they can morph your, your face into whoever you want, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, deep fakes are going to be pretty awesome. TikTok and Snapchat are coming out with those first. I agree. Uh, hold I on. Agree. We got a question yeah, at the end do. here, Sam Wesselman. I have a question about business and personal Facebook pages. When I comment on various sites, why can, can't I choose what profile is commenting? Oh, there is a way. Yeah. There, there's definitely a way. Do you, you want know. to show, do you want to show them? Can you, maybe you could show that real quick. Carolyn, by the way, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you. Thank you for being on. Let me reopen my Facebook. Give me a second, buddy. And I can tell you, I think I can answer this question. So when you're on your business page, I think that was what the question was. Um, there's a little like right below where the uh, the post is on the bottom right, I believe you can click and there's a little drop down and you can choose who's commenting you or your business page. Yeah, let me the only one I can do it on right now is going to be lab coat. So I have to switch over. Give me a second. Okay. And, and if and if you already know this and you're still here, you don't have to stay. Um, we're pretty much wrapped up, but I'm keeping us live since Sam had this question. We're going to try to get an answer. To lab coat. Lab coat agents uh, dude as awesome as facebook is it's so slow sometimes yes on the on the business pages wouldn't you think so wouldn't you say so uh yeah it's really slow on a computer period yeah uh because they go mobile first but you know whatever um you know it's not even loading for me oh here it is it loaded all right here we go. Okay, let me show you exactly how to do that. Uh, 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 I think it's this one. Perfect. All right, so see here, I'm on Lab Code Agents, the business page, and I'm ready to comment. If I'm ready to comment here, it even tells me comment as Lab Code Agents. Now, if you want to comment as somebody else, 
that something that you own or your personal page or other business page, you click on this little button right here. It's a drop down. It's a drop down menu. You click it. And then it says, well, then who the hell do you want to post as? Well, I want to post as I am Tristan. You see where that was? Go back over to that. See that little drop, drop down there? Bottom oh, right, right, next to the share. Awesome. All right. So now, now I commented as I am Tristan, but I want to change back to Tristan, right? Or I want to change to Lab Code Agents. Uh, thanks. I'm going to thank everybody, right? And I'm gonna, I'm, gonna and, look, I'm gonna look on my mobile and see if it shows the same way. And that's how you do it on a desktop. That's it. On a desktop, it's very easy. I'm gonna go to the mobile as we're talking real quick and make sure that it has the same. Yep, the same guy. So take take the screen, or take get unshare. Uh, there we go. Unshare. So Hold if on. you can, yeah, it's unshared. It's unshared. Yep. So if you see right here, so this is a, this is on my business page. Um, you can see the little guy right there. So I can hit this, drop it. And now I can comment. You can't really see that very well because I like it. But see, now I can comment as, oh, yeah, as yeah. any one of I these pages, that. same yeah. thing. So hopefully, right, that, cool. hopefully that helps Sam. Yep. Good question. Great question. Yep. Awesome. Russell, we're excited to share TikTok with you. Looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you guys. Thanks, We're going to wrap it up. We're going to send out the recording in about a week or so. Thanks, guys. Bye, T. Thanks, Jeff.